In total, the PVC pipe, the concrete, and spray paint were about $15, the rest I already had. I used one and a quarter inch thick PVC pipe, but I would recommend getting a little bit smaller, perhaps one inch, and I cut it 25 inches long. I measured about 10 inches on the width of the basketball and drew lines at either end for the PVC pipe to go into. This is just an old basketball and I do recommend using a smaller ball if you want less weight. I baked the PVC pipe for 5 minutes at 350 degrees and I would recommend filling it either with soil or some type of sand so that when you're bending it, it doesn't flatten at all. But just take your time and go slow and it shouldn't crease too bad. I made sure the ends were bowed closely together so that it would hold into the concrete better and I also used this strong wire piece and drilled it through both ends of the pipe. A clipping of a wire coat hanger could also work. Once you can ensure that it fits, you want to just bend the ends up with some pliers. I'm using all-purpose concrete, but if you want a quicker dry, you can use Quickcrete. They were just all out at the hardware store. Also, if you have a larger bucket, I recommend using that. And I just added water as I saw fit. So now that it was entirely filled, I just wiped off the excess concrete and let it dry for 48 hours. And then I went back in with an X-Acto knife and trimmed around the base of the pipes. I'm using a super strong glue that I just found at the dollar store and gluing the top part of the flap to the other one. You want to set something heavy on it and just let it dry for an hour or so. And then this step is completely optional, it's just for aesthetic, but I went in with some caulking I had lying around. It took about two coats, but it covered the orange no problem. Overall, this is super simple, a little bootleg, but it gets the job done. And I'm just demonstrating that you can throw this thing around. I would also put perhaps hockey tape on the handle if you want a better grip. <laughs> 